For much of the northern United States, this winter has been mild when compared to historical averages. It's a trend that AccuWeather long-range expert Paul Pastelock says will continue into spring. It's been, you know, a little bit drier in parts of the northern U.S., uh, less snow. And as you get into the spring, that soil warms up quicker. And if it does, then we have the possibility here of uh, seeing, you know, higher than normal average temperatures during the day. This winter saw heavy influence from El Nino, a weather pattern caused by warmer than normal ocean temperatures in the Pacific Ocean. El Nino tends to result in a southern storm track, making it cooler and wetter than historical averages in the southern U.S., while in the north, conditions tend to be drier with temperatures running above historical averages. Pastelok says El Nino will weaken this spring. We've already seen the change in the equatorial Pacific, but there's always a lag to the atmosphere. And so we still will continue to have El Nino conditions through the spring, maybe even to the start of June. Given the El Nino conditions, an early spring is expected in the north central U.S. An extended winter is forecast for the interior southwest and portions of the Plain states, while the southeast is expected to see a slow transition to spring. In the northeast, Pastelok says winter could wrap up a little earlier than usual. There is a good chance that maybe by mid-March into April, the chances are lower that we could see snow uh, this coming season, but your window may be prior to that. Flooding has been an ongoing concern from the Gulf Coast states up into the northeast this winter. Pastelok says the wet pattern is expected to continue into spring and could shift to include portions of the central plains. Reporting for AccuWeather, I'm Lincoln Riddle.